Hi my friends, coming to the prodigious tutorial number 500, I thought it would be useful to recall a number of details of working with Inventor under the generic title Tips and Tricks. Go ahead and enjoy. If you activate the start, you find somewhere Autodesk Inventor. Expand this folder, go inside it and apply Inventor Reset Utility. Then this dialog box appears. Select your uh, version of Inventor but not uh, before uh, 2016 about and apply reset. Inventor will come to its original system state by raising all data, settings and applications that were previously stored on the device. I activate reset here and I am asked by uh, the system if I want to reset Inventor 2025. Okay, I do this. Now by activating uh, Inventor we see this uh, screen. Do you want to migrate custom no, I don't. This is the state of Inventor free of any other data. Now I apply my personal settings as you will find them along this uh, tutorials. Firstly, I activate options and I set colors. I want to have a, a dark theme of the screen. So I apply the dark theme. Apply. You have to wait for a while. This is final. Then I use presentation as the background and uh, I select one color. Then other personal settings are here and I select the value of uh, 1.8 instead of 1 because I want to have a greater presentation of fonts and so on. I also change something. I apply grid lines on the sketches and I apply auto project edges for sketch creation and edit. Okay, these are all. If I apply now metric templates and standard millimeters IPT as usual, we see this white screen. I used to make the browser larger. This is the browser and this is uh, the graph space. Instead of uh, using this uh, way for finding the application options with this result, we can use another solution by 
pressing in sequence the keys Alt F I and we receive the same uh, dialog box for application options. Let's learn something about the navigation cube. It is placed here and it has a small icon called home. If you rotate the subject you can place it back to the original position. We see here the word front, right, button and uh, when you modify position you see the navigation cube is uh, also moving. We want to have this face as a top face we place it so apply set current view as top and now the word top is here we go back to that position and we see that this is front okay front is what we want to have Another possibility to control this uh, navigation cube is to select perspective presentation instead of orthographic. You see the cork is very big and now is very small. Why? Because the perspective is uh, the natural presentation. If you want to keep the perspective presentation when you save the model and uh, you open it again then you have to use the tools document settings settings and to select perspective. This means that permanently this uh, model will be presented in perspective. Okay, now you can save this and when it, you open you'll have also perspective. Since we discuss about the perspective you can uh, create other view of perspective by keeping press the control and shift and to use the wheel of the mouse for obtaining orthographic or very perspective as you can see Another interesting trick is to animate this object by using the free orbit. Keep pressing the control and shift and apply a small movement. You see what happens. Escape and F5 to go back. You can use another angle. Select again the free orbit, keep pressed both shift and control and give it another rotation. You see. Escape. OK. We focus on the monitor first. It is very useful 
to use two or more monitors to have simultaneous access to various information. I first worked with three monitors and now I use four, like at NASA. I want to keep your attention with this. You see, I don't use the mouse to make such movements and uh, zooming. I use hard this device. It is very useful. I'm amazed of uh, how useful is this device. In fact, this is a space mouse, as it is called. And you see it here. You uh, use your left hand or the other hand, because it is symmetrical, uh, to operate it. The cap is upper and the producer is 3D connection. For the moment I want to show you some features by using the 3D connection trainer. You see when you move the cap up and down, you move the model up and down. You can move it left and right as well. or zoom it, rotate it in three axes, as you can see, or combine all the six movements as you want to see the model modifying position and view. The third device is the mouse. A regular mouse forces the operator to sit with the palm on the table. This causes the palm to be twisted 90 degrees from normal, which induces a state of fatigue. The solution is to use a vertical mouse like the one in the figure. In this case, the palm is no longer twisted, but has a normal position. I have been working with the mouse since 1984. In 2022, I had to have surgery to be able to continue. The operation was done on the so-called carpal tunnel. You can find out more about this by watching my tutorial number 238. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.